I told Sister June and Brother Gita Hutchcraft my calling as hire was going to be different. So I decided to speak on overcoming a burden. Most of you know that I have seizures. And most of the time when I have a seizure, I get embarrassed, agitated. And when I have a seizure, some people think it affects my mind, causes me to forget. Yes, I have been dum called dumb over it. But I decided to, instead of just breaking down and saying, why is God doing this to me? I thought to approach it as a different way, saying, this is the flesh trying to bring me down. It says in Romans 6, 14, For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under law, but under grace. And I notice when I have a seizure, it kind of distracts me. I want to go off and hide. Where no... No one can help me, no one can hear me, and no one can tell if I'm coming back to the meeting. And then it dawned on me that I should look on the things that I can do instead of things I shouldn't do. Like, what if I have a seizure? I was reminded of Brother Jason's class, and the point he bought out, one of the points he bought out, excuse me, was wrestling with sin. Kind of the way I do deal with that myself, wrestle with seizures. But I like to think of it as like a boxing ring, like knock, at, knock out and then you're down for 10. And then um, sometimes when I speak for the truth, I have these moments when I go speechless, I go down, and this wicked one is going inside my head and he's saying, you can't do it. Stay down. You can dismiss yourself from the assembly anytime. Do you understand you have seizures? Lock yourself in the bathroom. You can go upstairs and say, rest. You, do you understand? And then I had to pull myself back up and say, no. I have something to say and I'm going to finish it. Amen. Psalms 25.2 says, oh my, God, oh my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed, for not my enemies triumphed over, over thee. And if you put your trust in the Lord, he will protect you from all evil, Amen. if you put, overcome evil with good. It says in John 16, 33, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. And I like to use some one of the sisters as a example. As we know, um, Sister Tasha is a has been a diabetic for a long time. There are certain foods that she cannot eat. But all the years we've known her. I've ne we've never heard her complain about her diabetes. And then it dawned on me again, instead of breaking down about these little tiny seizures that just make me like flinch and I can just get up and just try again, I should give thanks to the Lord like, could the seizure be worse? I'm in thankful for being a crowd of brethren who cares about me. And I still think on what Sister Becky said, you're not going to have Caesars in heaven. But if I'm going to earn that right, i got to be a, one that's going to earn the right, not be a whiner. And so, Psalms 32, 4 says, Though I walk through the valley of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Well, to right, wrap things up, I will say this, if you overcome flesh, you will have faith. And faith is the victory that overcomes the wor world. And if you w look upon the eternal things to come, your worries will look like a so what thing. 
Sister Eva has our song, song leading. <laughs> 